I mean, I'm sorry. A special meeting of the Board of Trustees is being held at 7 p.m. here in this room. Uh, the subject to be discussed, considered, or upon which any formal action may be taken are listed below. Meeting call to order. I will now do roll call. Mr. Flores. Present. Mr. LaFoyle. Here. Mr. Secretary, Mr. Macias. <laughs> and uh, Miss A there went for a break. And uh, Miss Salinas, Dr. Mackey. Here. Okay. Everybody is here. We now uh, are doing consider and take. Oh, it says that we were going to to close session, but yeah, we we, are, we do not have no, to go to close. No. So we'll go ahead, Dr. Mackey. Okay. At this time, I would like to turn it over to our bond financial bond attorney. Uh, Mr. President, members of the board, Dr. Mackey, I'm Jeff Coon. It's our privilege and honor to serve as your bond counsel. I'm hoping, does everyone have the script for their organizational minutes? No, that's the articles. Well, well, articles, yes. You, it should start at the top of the page. Minutes of organizational meeting. Does everyone have that? Yes. <coughs> we, okay. We have it. Here it is. Uh, this document right here, Mr. Yes. Yeah. So in your packet, there should be. You see, it's on this page right here. Yes. You have it in your packet. It's in the middle of. There's three, three in there. Oh, you mean on this one? Yes. There should be an articles of incorporation. There should be bylaws. Yes. And there should be minutes of an organization. Meeting. Yes. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah. You should have. Everybody. Can. This one. Right? <coughs> yeah, one, Mr. Dare. There you go. Give, give this to Mr. Dare. You can have mine. You got it, sir? So, just if I can take a minute, just to explain to people where we are. The, the, the Board of Trustees, on its at its March 21st meeting, adopted a resolution authorizing the creation of the Judson Independent School District Public Facility Corporation and approve the articles and approve the bylaws. My practice has been, even though it's not legally required, my practice has been that the Board of Trustees of the school district serve as the Board of Directors of the Public Facility Corporation. I think it just makes life easier. And I will say this, y'all's decision, but my recommendation is, who is whoever's the current officers mm -hmm. of the school board, serve as the officers of the Public Facility Corporation. Yes. We can do that or we can have secret ballots. We can do as much as you want. But my recommendation is that you, whoever serves as the officers of the Board of Trustees, and there's going to be a number <laughs> of documents that have to be signed, and you get no increase in pay for serving on the Board of Directors of the Public Facility Corporation. <laughs> no, exactly. This times two. So, so with that, if, if that's... I saw a lot of nodding of the heads. I hope that's okay. Then, then what I'd like to do is to kind of walk you through the minutes. And what we're doing basically is acknowledging that the articles of incorporation for the Public Facility Corporation have been filed with the Secretary of State. The articles of incorporation, which have already been approved, the bylaws have been approved, and we'll go through a number of housekeeping matters um, to things like um, a corporate seal, uh, investment policy, depository, because like I said, the corporation is a separate legal entity from the school district, and the corporation is actually going to be the owner of the site on which the Kirby Building 200 sits, and we're going to issue bonds to make the improvements to that facility. And what's important, just to, because y'all have not done this before, but ultimately, so the Public Facility Corporation it's going to issue bonds. The school district is going to convey that land to the Public Facility Corporation. And then the school district is going to enter into a lease with the nonprofit corporation, Public Facility Corporation, to make the lease payments to pay the bonds off. Right. So the, it, there's a lot of legalese and formality we have to honor because the reality is the person who buys those Public Facility Corporation bonds, if the school district decides at any time in the future, 
that it does not want to continue that lease and terminates a lease, which they have the ability to do on an annual basis, then the person who holds those bonds would come in, act through the trustee, and take control of building 200, the parking lots attributable to that building, and would have an easement to the nearest right away so they could own and operate that building. Okay, I understand that. But that's on one side of it. The mm -hmm. other side, the district can can pay that off at any time and own it too. Well, true, true Dr. Mack. I think that depends on how the PFC bonds are actually sold. Mm -hmm. what we're anticipating having a short call date on those bonds yes. and ultimately in the near future, fill in the blank, two years. Yes. The next time we have another bond election, another proposition on your bond election would be re refinancing your PFC bonds so you can move the debt service on the PFC bonds to your INS. Because remember, the lease payments that you're going to have to make until that time are coming out of your general fund. So most school districts don't want that pressure on the general fund. But Dr. Mackey's right. We're envisioning this, frankly, as a short-term interim financing. Mm -hmm. Get Kirby built, get it renovated, get it operational, get a very attractive low interest rate on the bonds, mm -hmm. and then come back to our patrons, whatever, four years now, sometime in the future, and say, we want to refinance that. So hope that all makes sense. But that's, that is the, Dr. Mackey's correct in bringing, that's the plan of finance. That's what we envision happening. Yes. Because, when, just I know you all know this, but we could not do Kirby as part of the bond front because we couldn't say that we could do Kirby plus the high school and the money without a tax increase. So Dr. Mackey said, come up with a solution to do, a, to do Kirby on a short-term interim basis, yes. and this is the solution we came up with. Very good. So does that make sense? Yes, Anyone sir. have any questions on me? Okay. With that, then, I'd like to, if I can just, can we wait, just wait. walk through the organizational meeting once again. You, you've, uh, uh, Mr. Salinas has, has said who's absent, so, and I'm going to just list as the additional people here, Dr. Mackey, not to step on a toe, but I'm, I'm Ms. Elizondo, Mr. Kirshner, myself, and the Westermans. If anybody else wants to be part of the minutes, I'm happy to say, obviously, the board members. Okay? So now, we, we're skipping over here, but somebody should now, in the second paragraph, we call the meeting to order. Someone needs to step up and say they have to be the temporary chairman. Mr. Salinas, I would recommend you do that. Because there, there's nothing you have to do other than follow my script, if that's okay. But I don't want to step no. on a toe. Does the board member have any problem with that? No. Okay. So Mr. Salinas, by affirmation, is the temporary chairman. The next thing we just talked about is now you have to make a motion for who is the board members going to be and what are their offices. I'm hoping that someone will make a motion that the current board members and their titles and offices would be the PFC board members. I hope someone will do that. But if not, we can. I'll make a motion. That, uh, okay, motion. Do we need a second? As they sit on this board, uh, the same offices and all the board members would be uh, directed on this. Thing. That's fine. And then second. second. Okay. We and have further. a motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, Call we can button. take a vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, likewise. Let the okay. record reflect that Ms. Beth Williams is absent and Mr. Steve Selby. Now, if you're following me on our, on our cheat sheet, we're on the top of page two now. Okay, sir. Oh. Okay. So we have the president, we have the vice president, we have the secretary, and everyone else is an assistant secretary. Okay? Excuse me. Just, yes, sir. Just following on your thing, uh -huh. did you need a vote when we said for him to be chairman because you got wrote here? I, I kind of glazed over that. Okay. 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 So now we're at the top of the second page. Okay. And now Mr. Salinas is the president, so you're controlling the meeting. Okay. okay. The, the, ne the next item, Mr. Salinas, is to have the articles of incorporation. Once again, this is approving it as the board of directors. The board of trustees have already have already approved it. Okay. So the next item would be a motion and a second to approve the articles of incorporation. Do, do I have a... Um... I'll make a motion we accept the article of incorporation as presented. Second. 
We have a motion and a second. Any discussion on this? No. And there was a second. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Discussion. Yes, ma'am. So um, I want to uh, specifically ask you that you're assuring us that these articles of incorporation that we've been presented are in full and total compliance with whatever needs to be said according to the law. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And in fact, they were filed of record on Friday with the Secretary of State. And, and Mr. Chair, that's right. Legally, this corporation doesn't exist until you guys approve the articles right now. Okay. Okay, no further discussion. Uh, all those in favor of the motion signifying by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, likewise. Thank you, Mr. Salinas. Now, the next is obviously you guys all sit on nonprofits. The next issue, now you have a corporation that's in existence. The next is to approve its bylaws to govern how it, how it conducts its meetings. The next agenda item, Mr. Salinas, would be to accept a motion bylaws. to approve the bylaws. Okay. You made the motion. Mm -hmm. You second, uh, second by Mr. Flores. Discussion. Okay. All those in favor, signifying by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, likewise. Motion carries. Thanks, Mr. President. The next is to have a corporate seal. The standard seal would have the name of the. Judson Independent School District Public Facility Corporation around the outside with the Texas Star in the middle. Once again, you can Motion. do whatever y'all want, but that's. Motion. <coughs> Thank you. Okay, we have a motion by Ms. there, second by Mr. Macias. Any discussion? All, okay, let's go ahead and vote on the motion. All those in favor of the motion signifying by saying aye. 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 All those opposed likewise. Motion carries. We're hitting our strength. We're hitting our strength now. Okay, the next is to approve the fiscal year for the corporation. Once again, my recommendation is that it tracks the fiscal year for the school district, yeah. and that'll make Mr. Elizondo happy. <laughs> go ahead, sir. Second. Is that okay? Okay. We have a motion and a second. Any yes. discussion? Just okay. for the record, that's that's a July one right. through June third. June third. Mm -hmm. Yes. All those in favor of the motion signifying by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. Likewise. Motion carries. The next, Mr. President, is when does the Public Facility Corporation Board want to meet? I put it here in brackets. Whether you meet before the normal Board of Trustees meeting after you know but in, and for a while we're going to have to have lots of joint meetings as we build kirby uh building 200. it's y'all's call if you want to normally what people would do 15 minutes before your board of trustees meeting would meet yes the board of directors would meet yes. do whatever housekeeping it had to do adjourn be done and then you'd move in your, in your board of trustees but it can be after it could be whatever y'all want Yes, of course. Uh, well, I know. No, but he's whatever he's discussing. In, in these meetings, um, I don't, I, you know, we've never done this before mm -hmm. or anything. What what's the uh, usually the agenda for this? <coughs> Actually, I, I think I can tell you. I think I can. I think I can tell you that Mr. Elizondo and Mr. Kirshner now know that you know you guys know how to build schools. And you do it all the time, and it's very important on how the, your, you get direction from your board, right? You've all, done all kinds of things. This, we're, it's going about 100, 180 degrees. I think we're back in a sweet spot, but, but the, the corporation member is going to own that property, and it's going to be letting construction contracts. Now, you're just you're wearing the same hats. You're the same people. Well, I understand that, but my question is, is, is 15 minutes going to be, I mean, what are we going to just, at this meeting, I mean, we have to meet, I understand that, uh -huh. but what are we going to be doing? Are we going to be voting on spending more money? Are we going to be... Uh, uh, occasionally uh, are. I would say most of it, the housekeeping, and, and Ms. Floyd, you're, you're exactly right. If it ended up being where you, 15 minutes wasn't enough time, yeah. you, you, you'd adjourn your PFC meeting, go to your Board of Trust meeting, and come back to your PFC meeting. I'd rather be at 6.30. 
we, we can add, but we can add as much time. I was just respectful, like I said, except between now and you know the middle of August, it, there's going to be a lot to do. After we sell the bonds, not so much. Uh, why don't we do it on the second Thursday? I don't want to do No, well, we've, we've set aside the second Thursday for level threes. And normally it's very rare that we have a level three. Mr. Flores, I didn't do a very good job. There's, even though you're the same people are going to be here, remember, if you move it on another day, you're going to have two meetings because invariably the, the board of directors can't do everything on their own. You're going to have the board of directors saying X, and that's going to be ratified by the board of trustees. So you'll. So that's why you want it before. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So but we'll but, but if, you want, if you want to yeah, say something. 630. Okay. 630, give us a half hour. Wait, let's yeah. have a motion. I know what you're yeah. talking about. Right, right. right. No. So, so, you, um, so we move that the meeting will be held 30 minutes prior to okay. a regular, the regular meeting. scheduled board meeting. Okay. I need a second. Second. Second by Mr. Uh, motion by Ms. Adair, second by Mr. LaFoyle. Any discussion? Some board meeting. So we'll have to have the side on the agenda prior to all that kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 And you'll be in touch with it. Jackie can always, or Dr. Mackey can always call you. And I will. Okay. Sir. She'll be loving me as much as Dan Kirshner and Jose Elizondo. <laughs> 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 okay. 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 We have a motion and a second. Uh, no further discussion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, likewise. Those following me are now on the top of the third page in your minutes. The next is to uh, have an investment policy for the Public Facility Corporation. Once again, I recommend that that mirror the Board of Trustees. But, you know, you know, we can have some discussion, but normally that's what you do. And you appoint Dr. Mackey as your investment officer or Mr. Elizondo, whatever you want. Who's the, uh, well, let me make the motion that we do this session. I'd like to do it kind of in order. Okay. Uh, move to accept the recommendation of the district investment policy. Sorry. Okay, we have a motion and a second discussion. Yeah, I have a question. Um, so, who, and I, I guess I should remember, but I don't. Who's our executive director for the investment policy up now? I thought it was you. I'm the investment officer. Okay, okay, so my motion is that it would be just like the other one, so that That's fine. Mr. And, 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 actually, okay with you? and actually, we have three designated officials and investment officers. It's myself, mm -hmm. the director of accounting, who's the OB, and uh, one of our, our bond, bond accountants slash general accountant, who is Teresa there. We're the three designated officials. Mm -hmm. Do you want all three? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that okay with us? So that way we'll right, be so covered in case, in case somebody can. Okay. So moved. Second? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Second by, second by, by Mr. Flores. Flores. Okay. Okay. Any other discussion? If not, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, likewise. Motion carries. The next item, members of the board, is the uh, depository bank for the money that will be coming into the Public Facility Corporation. Normally, uh, you, you'll have to go to the, the school district's depository uh, bank and ask them to add the Public Facility Corporation. Um, that, that would be our recommendation. That's the way the drafts are set up. But you could go, you could put the Public Facility Corporation through a bid process to another bank if you so desire, but I don't think that's the most efficient way to go. I move that we um, utilize the same bank and direct the executive director to add the contact bank, etc. Et okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, all those in favor of the motion signifying by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, likewise. Okay, the motion the last is the one that's most sensitive in this, and, and Dwayne and I can step outside if you want. The next is you have to have a bond council and you have to have a financial advisor to do your transaction. Okay. I have recommended that, that, that bond council firm be Fulbright and Jaworski and that the financial advisor be Samco Capital Markets. Now. If you want us I to step thought, outside, I, I have no idea. We that we have full yeah. pride and you work the example of Captain Marcus. Okay. Any discussion? 
Okay, we have uh, a motion. All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed likewise. Motion carries. Thank, Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President. The last thing before we have it, so you'll know, and, and this is where Jose and, and Mr. Elizondo and Mr. Kirshner told me I had to stand up and say this. <laughs> if you've got any problem, Dr. Mackey, with the timetable, it's on me. Okay. So we're, we're going to distribute a timetable here in the next week to, to show that shows, I think, a funding, help me, Dan, uh, middle of September. Okay. okay. That, so that we can actually start construction. So that, that table, the, but we'll distribute that to everyone so everyone knows we're trying to get input from a bunch of players, the architects, and, and that table is being fleshed out. The documents are all out. Uh, Dwayne is going to be sending out a, a bid for um, uh, investment bankers to, to bid on this project. Um, but, but I think, you know, there, there was a learning curve. But we're now we're all moving quickly and efficiently to make this project a reality. So we'll distribute that to all of you so you can see what the timetable is. Okay. I got a question uh, for the Western uh, How is this looking as far as, uh, you know, the sales? I mean, you have you done these before, and, uh, you know, what, what do you think the response will be? We're, we're looking at, at doing this with a uh, competitive proposal for a private placement so that these uh, public facility corporation bonds will be bought by one purchaser because this is more complicated, everything that's involved with the real estate side of this, that's the most efficient way to go. Um, we have done these before. It's been it's been a few years since we've had, since I've actually participated in doing one, but the interest is there. We always have people from these banks contacting us. Do you have any? Do you have any? Okay. Is there anything going on? So uh, I would expect that once we submit uh, that package or proposal out to them that uh, we'll set a date and time and I would think we would get multiple bids, whether that ends up being three or eight, I, I think wow. we'll have several. So you think they'll go for it? Okay. Anybody else? Thank you, sir. Oh, yes, ma'am. I had a question on the other, on the other part, on that first page. Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, I know you told me that I remember what you said. What day did you say you filed the article? Uh, June 7th. June 7th. And then, um, you mentioned, I just real my own minute, so you mentioned that um, you were going to put three people down as president. Who did you say those? The, the, the motion was to put the, the same um, officers. officers that exist on the board no, of trustees. Where it says additional in attendance. Oh, you, I, I was, I was suggesting um, uh, Dr. Mackey, Mr. Elizondo, and Mr. Kirshner. And okay. Mr. Ashworth. Okay, sure. And then Fulbright and, and Sam Cook. Right. Yeah. Well, I, and I'm happy, like I said, I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes in the room. If anybody else wants their name, but they were here, I'm happy to do it. And there's no problem with the two members that aren't present to have just put them oh, in yeah, there. So. Right. Okay, well, that was very smooth. Thank you. You did a great job. I pleasure. understand that. I was a little worried about tonight. Well, I do have a question for you. Uh, there's this a of a con table you said you'll come uh, to provide for. But in the document on page 3, it does say next order that this was the presentation. Do we need to have those? No, like I said, it, it's, it, we're, we're still working on it. Uh, the, the timetable, like I said, you're probably going to meet at least twice more as the public facility corporation. So you're going to have plenty of opportunity. Like I said, it, it's, it's going to be, um, like I said, it's a little different, but, but I hope that the, the confidence that the board has in, in Fulbright and Samco, we're going to get you through the same process. Just, it's just a little different. But you'll all see the timetable hopefully next week, um, and, and it'll show the, when we're approving the construction contracts, when we're selling the bonds, when we're closing on the bonds, and when we can put a shovel on the ground to, uh, uh, frankly, first tear down Building 200 before you rebuild it. So we go ahead and put that on for the June 20 meeting, though. Is it is already out for 6.30 on June 20? Isn't that our next meeting? No, I thought it slipped. Dan. This was all dead. Yeah. So everything we did, we did tonight. slip. Okay. So we'll have another one on the 20th? You're, you're gonna, no, no. You're gonna, oh, oh, you let us know. You'll, you'll have another timetable oh. that'll have more detail than you ever want to see. But you're saying it needs to be more detail. Exactly. Right. On the 20th, the confusion on the 20th, we're going to have the other items for the, the, on, the, the on the 20th, we're doing 
two other bond deals. We're selling your new money bonds you just voted on, plus we're going to sell refund, uh, uh, through a parameter sale your refunding bonds. So that we'll be back, Joanne and I will be back on the 20th, but it will have nothing to do with the Public Facility Corporation. Would, would you agree um, if we said something like um, the next order of business was a discussion, a presentation of the timetable? I think that's better. I think that's better. No, ma'am. The last thing is that if there's any other questions anyone has for us, any anybody else has any other questions? If not, uh, the special uh, no, board. No, that's not what it said. It said there was a vote and a motion. That's what I'm trying to help you. Mm -hmm. So I move to adjourn until the second. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. And, Mr. President, the time of adjourning is 7:25. Got it? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Except the board, we're going to discuss the dates for the week. We've done all day. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank